Boxing and the Aragon Ballroom. Now, the fighters of tonight's bout. Things are about to get underway here in round one. You can see his style lends itself well to that power style. Compact always has the feet planted, and he's ready to deliver a punch. You never want to throw just one punch at a time. The second you throw, you should have something else coming behind it. Nice work. Lands a solid two-punch combo. Sack putting a two-punch combination together. You know, to fight a power slugger like this, you gotta try to stay on the outside. Getting inside a guy like this just spells trouble. Satin displaying a good uppercut. The assassin has got to protect himself better than that. Great technique exhibited by that two-punch combination. Counter lands solidly. Tremendous, a left uppercut connection. Satin's been caught by a vicious counterpunch. Counter hooks and shivers down his spine. The assassin's taking the other guy out of his rhythm with his effective counter punching. The assassin is going to have a hard time defending himself until he finds a way off the ropes. He's in a lot of trouble now. He's been knocked down by that big hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how much we can expect after being knocked down like that for the assassin. The assassin's able to react quickly and land a counter uppercut. He returns with an uppercut of his own. Great combo from Satin. That blow finds its home with a thud. He needs to move effectively and get out of the way of those combos. Shoots a counter hook. He's doing a good job of drawing him in and then countering. There are just a few seconds still to go. The Assassin catches him missing and makes him pay. That might have had his best round of the night as we recap the action here. Look at how he just dominated that round. Awesome showmanship. That's what I like to see. Let's think about how we can take the next round, too. This guy hits too hard, so you can't let him give up for a big shot when you see him looking at the wall. You freaking gave that round away! Where's your head at? Look, he's scared of your strength. You need to get up close and pop him. I want you to make him miss and then hit him with a haymaker. Let's get going with round number two. That punch lands with a thud. Satin's taking two shots from his opponent. That combination featured a damaging hook. The Assassin's looking to be aggressive and throw combinations. Those two punches did some damage. Satin's exploited a weakness in his opponent's defense and lands that combination. A blow right in the face. He puts together two nice shots. The assassin crashes down as he gets clocked by a hard hook. You can see him on the canvas hard after being drilled in the midsection. I didn't know if he could get up after. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought this fight might be over after he went down, but he got up and is showing true grit. He catches a missing and capitalizes. He really went for that feint and he paid the price as he left himself wide open for that tremendous punch that followed. He leaves himself open for that two-shot combination by Satin. The Assassins in a volatile state any minute now can determine the outcome of this fight. And he comes back with an authoritative uppercut. The counter hook looks very effective right now. Good jab by Satin. He's ready to go. One more solid combination, and he's going to be on his back with his eyes staring at the ceiling. Counter hook catches him off guard. The assassin with a hard shot of his own. He may have just bought himself enough time to make it through this round. You can't just walk in and throw, because if you do, he's gonna make you pay. Oh, watch right in. That hold may have just saved the knockout for the assassin. Satin couldn't have done much better that go-round. Satin took the lead. As you can see here, he was able to control the last round. It always feels better to inhale deeply after you take a round. He's been spending a lot of time in that gym. Now it's time to put some of the muscle to use. He's not in your class physically, so I want you to get on the inside. Pound him hard with hooks and uppercuts to the gut and make him respect your strength. The only good thing about the last round is that it's over. Look, we both know this guy is an animal. He wants to jump all over you and maul you with those power shots. When you see him load up, step up to the opposite side and counter with a quick combination. Here comes round number three. The assassins should look for a new cut man after this fight if they aren't able to repair his damage better. The assassins still bleeding noticeably from his nose. Lands a savage hook and then fires two more solid shots to back it up. The Assassins taking advantage of his mistake and lands a hard counter hook. Two good punches find their hole. just saved himself there. Let's see how he reacts to that combo from the assassin. Ouch, beats the punch. The assassin's mouth has swollen to gigantic proportions. Here he's showing his boxing skills by effective countering. Tough shot, great way to come back. Nice timing on the hold there by the Assassin. The Assassin with a textbook two-punch combination. What action! He knocks his opponent down yet again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He did a good job to get up after that knockdown. He's really showing the heart of a fighter. Satin displays his good punching ability there. He looks to have taken those two punches well. He goes inside with a shot to the body. He needs to do a better job defensively or he's going to be hit with combos all day. Oh, he's really in
in trouble now. If he eats one more good one, Assassin hit with shot after shot. That's it. I think he's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. This is exactly what he'd been training so hard for. He wanted nothing more than a decisive victory. Expect to see more knockouts from Satin.